Hey, what's up? Sammy here. So this is the Miss Carve M1. It was released like two, two years ago. But up to today, I still think it has the best results on metals and plastics. It's just so good. But as time goes by, some of you guys ask, you know, can Miss Carver offer a, another laser engraver that has as good performance as the Miss Carver M1, but at the same time working on more materials, more common materials like wood, bamboo, paper those. Well, we have it, the Mr. Carve M4. It features dual laser sensor, so it can work on almost any materials, including the materials, more common materials like wood, bamboo, we've spoken before. So how is it? Let's get started. All right, first, let's check out the design. So on this left side, we have this switch button here. That's for switching the red and blue lasers. Just press down. Switch to blue laser, up is the red laser. And here also we have the USB port that's for connecting the rotary extension. Now moving on to the bike, we have the power button and also this port is for connecting the computer. Moving to the front, that's exactly the same as the first generation. Logo here, down, up, that's for laser focusing. And this is the power, the power button. Just press down to turn on. All right, that's the design. It has basically the same design language as the first generation, which looks cool. It's rugged, right? Anyway, let's just stop talking and do the engraving. Let's connect to the power source. Then we connect to the computer. Now let's just pull the thing on. There's the material you want to engrave here. And press down. We have the red dot and the blue dot here, so just make sure they overlap each other. And then we open the app. Uh, it's basically the same as the first generation. It's very easy to use. I'm not gonna go through details about it. And then we just do it. Wow, it's so fast. Like, even though the text is so small, but as you can see, it's so smooth in grieving. Just check out the edge, just so smooth. And now let's do one more picture. Guys, just check out the results. We can see every detail about it. The hair, the eyes, just check out the thought in the eyes. Every intricate details are retained. Just crazy good. All right, we press down to switch to the blue laser. Okay, as for the wood, we choose this uh, owl picture, because I think it's cool. <laughs> For the blade laser, it's kind of a hard to eyes, so either stay with or using. All right, we finished. Let's check out the picture. Not bad. Really, really good. You can see these fine details, lines are all kept here. I mean, if you want like the best results, fun results, this M4 won't disappoint you. Now let's uh, do some um, cutting. About cutting, it's a little bit tricky here because there's no option for cutting in the software. So you have to like let it engrave continuously until it cuts off. The thing is, we don't know like how long it's gonna take, how many passes it's gonna take. So anyway, it's just a, just a mark. As you can see, uh, this is 1.5 millimeter thick. Uh, it took about uh, 50 seconds for a 10 watts blue laser. Normally you can cut like um, five to eight millimeters uh, without any problem. But yeah, like this one is, is not that good for cutting. But if you want cut, yeah, you can cut anyway. But I don't recommend. Right now we are testing the rotary extension as you would expect. For this part, we have to turn this head around. So we have to take it off first, and then we... Then we just 
fix it. And then we put the router extension here. Uh, this is a little bit worked because of the wires here, right? But it can get your cylindrical objects engraving work done. So <laughs> yeah, looks not that elegant, but it can get your work done. Okay, mark. All right, let's check out the result. It's not bad, right? You can see the depth. It gives you this perfect engraving. Here is a little bit too dark. I think we can adjust the power down a little bit. All right, that is this rotary extension for this kind of cylindrical things. You may wonder, what about a ring? Oh, you mean something like this irregular shape? Well, no worries. Mr. Carbon forgot it covered. We have another rotary extension for you to engrave all of the things. All right, we first take off the head and then we can see there are two screws here. We just take them out. Then we have another accessory. This will all come in the box. All right, then screw it tight. Perfect. And then we attach to the pole here. All right, just like that, we connect this rotary extension. All right, and then we can put this irregular shape, this weird cup on the top. Let's in engrave something, huh? Hey, not bad. Ooh, not bad, right? Seems very smooth. Yeah, that's it. Now let's test one last thing, the ring. Let's test it. Okay. Then we fix it. Screw you. Yeah, just like that, we install this accessory. And now we can engrave small things extra small things like this ring. Yeah. All right, we have to increase the height a little bit just to make sure we have the right position. Then we turn it on. Let's do it. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, smooth, fast, and perfect. All right, that is the video. As you can see, I didn't test that much, but the results speak for itself. It's just so good, excellent performance. And at the same time, for the M4, it offers so, it applies to a more wider range of materials, like old bamboo, those kind of things. And you know what the best part is? The M4 remains almost the same price as the first generation. Wow, that is basically no brainer, right? For anyone who wants a reliable laser engraver. So if you are interested in this product, please check out the link in the description. I get one of this today. Thanks for watching. Samuel, see you in the next one. Bye bye.